All right, guys, I'm going to talk to you about the baits I run through, the process I take when I'm fishing an offshore school of largemouth. This could be ledge fishing, fishing hard spots up north, whatever it may be, somewhere deep where there's a school of largemouth. I'm going to break you down how I go through the baits and the process that I fish the school in. And, and first off, like the very first cast I'm making into a school every time is going to be I don't have everything out that I need, but um, a lot of these baits are interchangeable. For me, it's either going to be a big hair jig or a big swim bait on a lead head. Um, something on heavy line, a really large profiled bait, single hook, something I, you know, real good landing percentage, heavy gear, something I can horse those fish out, get them in the boat, not take any chances. Because usually, you know, when you pull up to an offshore school, those first couple casts in there, like, you're pretty much going to get bit regardless so i don't see any sense in you know picking up a light line bait or a treble hook bait or something that you know you could break off or lose a fish on i'm going to go big heavy powerful stuff and like i said it's interchangeable either this big hair jig or a large you know five six inch seven inch swim bait on a lead head it's up with a big single hook heavy line 20 pound line big flipping stick something i can manhandle those fish with and really try to get a couple of those biggest fish out of the school throwing a you know a large profile bait something that's kind of kind of deter the two pounders away and kind of target those big fish and you know i'm going to throw that it might be two casts it might be 20 casts um depending on the bites you're getting or for sure the first handful of casts in the spot i'm either going to throw a big hair jig or a big swim bait reel it right through them and try to trigger you know a couple of the big aggressive fish out of the school not have to play around with them much you know let's say i caught a couple on that or not the next move for me is a crankbait i think it's the best way to get a school fired up um i'm going to reach for a dt depending on the depth just match it to that something that goes a little bit deeper than what i'm fishing anywhere from a you know dt 8 to a dt 20 whatever gets bottom contact in that zone wind that through them a bunch and I, I do like a dt especially fishing a school of fish it's a quiet crankbait um doesn't really burn the fish out when i'm making multiple casts to the same exact spot uh reel that through them that's a really good way to fire up the school and catch a bunch of fish um and big ones too so that's that's my next move throw that in there a bunch of times and i'll fish this more without a bite than i will the hair jig or the swim bait if i make you know 10 casts without a bite on a hair jig or a swim bait i'm going to put it down the crankbait something you can kind of keep throwing at them keep throwing at them and you know maybe get one to bite and get them fired up and catch a bunch of them and you know really going to do a lot of damage with a crankbait the next one i'd pick up i don't have with me and it's interchangeable it's either going to be a big worm a football jig or a carolina rig something i'm dragging on the bottom but still big profile heavier line i'll run that through them after i've gone through it with the crankbait, pick up a few of those, you know, fish that aren't really willing to chase, something that want a little bit slower pace. And then last before I go, um, there's a few different baits. It could be a Ned rig, a drop shot rig. For me personally, the last few years, it's been a Nico rig. Um, that's the last thing I'm gonna throw in the school before I leave. Light line, spinning rod application, uh, finesse fishing, that school really picking off those fish that, you know, weren't in the mood wanted nothing to do with anything i've thrown in there before but they're still sitting there and um you know if i can slow shake a nico rig right in front of their face um, i can catch a lot more fish out of there and really just maximize the school and then with my nico rig setup there's a couple different things i do i fish it on a vmc crossover ring it's a really cool ring it allows you to hook it works well with wacky rigging or Nico rigging. I got it set up for Nico rigging, but there's two different holes in there where I can either have my hook in line or perpendicular. When I wacky rig, I like a perpendicular Nico rig and I like it in line. Color match too. They come in a few different colors and a bunch of different sizes. Whatever your preferred Nico rig bait is, there's a there's a band that's the right size for it. If you want to use a super skinny finesse worm or you know a big like six inch stick worm. Um, they got a band for it plus color match if you're throwing black they got black green pumpkin clear and then uh the biggest key i've noticed i do like an exposed weight for my nico rig i think you get a little bit of sound clicking on the bottom on the hard bottom i do like that but if you're going to use this elastic style plastic these z-man nico weights are the way to go there's just a little pin with two barbs on it 
holds that elastex super good you're not losing weights every time a fish jumps and between this ring and this weight i can really almost fish all day long with a single worm which is awesome you're not messing around re-rigging and stuff and then as far as a hook goes i use a number two vmc nico every time i think that's the best nico rig hook out there a ton of confidence in it like i know when i get a bite the fish is in the boat so that's that's kind of what i do when i'm when i'm breaking down a school offshore large mouse um i think it's the best way to do it versus starting on the low end with the spinning rods you have potentially you know break one off i don't really lose much on them but you know just not really capitalize on the moods of all the fish in the school you know anywhere there's a group of fish there's always going to be a few real aggressive ones and i want to make sure i got those on a big hook heavy line and get them in the boat quick and then um i'm going to save the really finessey stuff for the end even though you know first cast in a school with a nico rig obviously you're going to get a bite too but I'd, I'd rather work down it and um you know just try to catch as many as i can throughout the school by showing them steps down in finesse versus working backwards and then just also have the heaviest tackle i can as i'm working through the school you know like i do i don't want to throw something real light and finessey in there right away because that's a fish i'm going to catch on anything i throw in there so there's no sense in messing around with a spinning rod and light line it's best to just 20 pound and a flipping stick and and get them in the boat and uh yeah that's kind of my rundown for offshore large mouse i like to I like to work them down in in finesse and just maximize the school to get as many bites as i possibly can out of there versus you know just a handful if i if i just threw one specific bait or maybe a couple um so i was offshore largemouth fishing got a lot of rods rigged up and uh just kind of work my way down in order and it gets you way more bites and um you're really just maximizing the potential out of each school